Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today is August 9th. It's Monday. So today is the first day of my staycation and fun employment. Um, so it's a little bit gloomy outside if I'm being honest. It's been raining I think since around dinner time yesterday. Um, that was unexpected to me at least. I was looking at the weather and I don't think I remembered seeing that it was supposed to rain. Um, so I'm not entirely sure how much I'll be able to do outside. Um, I was planning on doing a little bit of touristing outside walking around um, but if it's rainy I don't really enjoy doing that. Um, so I might actually go to the Met um, just because it's a nice place to hang out in the rain. And I also get in for a dollar. So I do recommend that if you are a um, New York City resident that you get the IDNYC. You can get actually free memberships for a year at many different institutions around the city. Um, but the thing is, is you can only use it one time for a one year free um, within a five year period. I think that's what it is. Um, so I've already used it at the Bronx Zoo. And then I've also used it already at the American Natural History Museum. Honestly, I'll probably never join that museum because there's like the pinnacle sort of thing in there is a large blue whale and I'm 100% scared of whales. Um, so the fact that it's like the central point of everything at that museum means that it's not a great museum for me personally. Um, it does have a lot of dinosaurs and things like that. I think my parents really enjoyed going there when they visited one time because I was at work and they went to many of the museums. Um, so I do like the Met and there's also um, a couple of other locations of the Met, so there's also the Met Breuer, which is, I think it's on 5th Avenue, maybe it's on 4th, I can't remember right now, and then there's also the Cloisters, which is up in um, Inwood, so that's in the fight Fort Tyrone Park, um, so I would totally recommend checking that out, it's like kind of like a castle fort in the middle of the city, um, and it's on a huge hill, so make sure that you pack your walking shoes. Um, you can take a bus, so I would recommend taking a bus if you have little children or if you're having some mobility issues, it is quite a hike. Um, so even in my fittest days, it was a little bit of a hike. Um, so anyway, that's the plan today, so I'll probably go to the museums and check them out, um, just because I spent like quite a while since I've been to a museum. I used to hang out there quite often because I usually get in for free. Um, with my last employee ID before my current former company. Anyway, so let me just give you my overview of my skincare and then I'll just do it off camera just because it's quite repetitive. Uh, so I'm going to use the Louis by Jean Saw today, followed by the U Beauty. And then for eyes, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Eye Concentrate and then the Nuria Eye Cream. Um, I'm just trying to use up most of these if I'm being honest. And then I'm going to use the 3-in-1 sunblock here from Nature Republic. So it is a sunscreen mixed with a moisturizer and a base. Experimenting with a new angle. Um, so I'm still in a huge fight with this camera. So I actually might be buying a new camera very soon. Um, just because, yeah, this one is not doing well. Um, so basically the quick fix, and sorry about the plane, that I keep doing is I have to blow air into the battery area. <laughs> Otherwise it keeps saying like unable to do anything and then it's just like a blank screen except for it says unable to do I can't remember what it says but anyway I have it somewhat fixed for right now as a band-aid so I'm going to do my makeup now um, so I am planning on going out by that I mean I have to I have to keep telling myself this otherwise I'm going to put it off but I do have to return my laptop to my old company um, so I'm going to do my makeup and I'll just show you what it is first and then I'll kind of do it in with the music behind So it kind of sounds like there's only a slight difference between kids having a good time and kids being in danger because some of these screams out here are sounding like danger but I'm thinking I think they're playing. Um, so yeah that is the look for today. I might throw on a lipstick so let me try it out. Um, so I think I'll try out this um, Victoria's Secret one again. I really don't think that people ever pay $14 for <laughs> lip product from Victoria's Secret but I might be completely wrong about consumers. 
Okay, so that is not the right color for today's look, so um, I'll probably remove it. Um, but this is going to be the look minus the mouth, and um, I will take you along with me when I go out. Again, I will be going probably to Midtown. I was kind of thinking about going to Brooklyn, but I think that's a little bit ambitious. Um, but we'll see where the day takes me. Um, it is still... It's still pretty gloomy outside, I just took a look, um, so I don't know if it's gonna rain. So let me check the weather actually. So it does say it's drizzling and then it looks like it's going to be in like the 90s all week, so yay! <laughs> um, so I don't know if that might take a little bit of a um, damper on my plans just because I don't like going outside when it's hot. Um, so yeah, I'll probably go to Midtown and then I think I was talking about going to the Met, so I still might go to the Met, so that's the plan at least. I was filming my what I think about my skincare I'm currently using video and time got away from me so now it's lunchtime and I really have to run to FedEx after this. Um, so I have my leftover pasta from a couple of nights ago and then I opened a new container of guacamole from my three pack from Costco and I have the jalapeno lime late July tortilla chips. So after I did a little bit of shopping, I decided to stop at the Strand. So the Strand has about 18 miles of books. It has a great selection of gifts and book related merchandise and then also Strand branded merchandise as well. The um, curated collections are also great. Here are some board games. And then I also wanted to show you that they have a lot of book pins. So if you have any book lovers, this might be a great place to buy some unique gifts. And then I also wanted to show you, I thought this wall of socks was super cute, especially the Where the Wild Things Are sock. I thought that one was super cute. I wanted to show you the mug collection that they have for sale. They're either strand branded or else book related. Over here are all of these stationary supplies including journals, cards, any kind of paper related gifts. So I decided to go downstairs. That's typically where I hang out because I'm a nonfiction book lover. I don't really spend much time on the first floor, which is where a lot of like the cookbooks and kind of the more kitschy gift things are. And then they also have the fiction books up there as well. 
If you are a musician, this is also where you find sheet music, um, vinyls, anything like that. Music related books are on the basement level. So I decided to take a look at the map and go up to the second level. As you can see, the third level is where the rare books are, but unfortunately it's temporarily closed due to COVID. So here is the second level, and this is where the art books, children's books, etc., are. Um, so they have some cute little gifts for kids as well up here. So I'm showing you some of the rare books they had featured on this level, but I also wanted to point out that they do a really great job curating New York specific books and gifts. So if you are just visiting and you want to pick up some New York specific items, this might be a great place to check out. The hobby section always gets me. So this Peanuts book was super cute and I almost considered buying it, but it looks like you had to use the specific paper in the back, which is why I ended up not purchasing it. But then I also briefly considered this hobby. Towel Folding 101 was such a funny book. I've never even thought about that as a hobby before. Now I'm going to take you to Fish's Eddy, which is one of my favorite home goods stores and unique gift items. So they have a lot of unique items here. This is from their collection for the summer. And then they also have this Founding Fathers collection where you can get RBG, Aaron Burr, Joe Biden related items. And they also have a very large vintage collection. So right at that moment, they were selling some samples from um, a China collection. So you can see here, they're all made in the US with the sample numbers so you can track the items. In the back of the store, they were featuring this pet portraits from this local artist. I've seen this artist's work, I believe, at Chelsea Market in the past. Um, but they had some unique items here, including the pigeons of New York in each neighborhood, and then some stamp blocks which had um, the very specific New York landmarks on them. I wanted to show you these Alban Safe Bakeware items they had and these other logo vintage plates. Here are some linens they had. They have placemats, tablecloths, and also dish towels. I also like their printed tumblers and then they also had some really cute cocktail glasses here. They all have different writing and designs on them. And here are some New York specific eco totes and tea towels. I am obviously back home and I did make a couple of purchases today so I sent back my laptop successfully um, via FedEx. It was very complicated actually um, so both myself and the FedEx employee struggled through it but we made it through. Um, so one recommendation I do have that if you do have to do that same thing make sure you keep your box from the um, equipment when you receive it. So as part of my low buy, no buy, probably for the past two and a half to three years, I have been wanting to save up to buy a new camera. Um, so the one I have now is a Sony Alpha, I think it's like 5100 or something like that. It is very old at this point. I think it was manufactured maybe in 2014. So it's been holding on for quite a long time. So I've been researching my camera options for the past few years and I've been trying to decide between like a still camera or one that takes videos. Since my Sony still takes Takes pretty good still photos it's just having difficulties with videos um, I decided that I would want to focus a little bit more on video since I'm having a lot of fun doing vlogging and stuff um, I just want to have the option of vlogging on a camera rather than my phone um, so I decided to go with the DJI pocket 2 um, so I bought it at the Union Square Best Buy so let me show it to you and I just realized I forgot to buy an SD card it was such a cluster in there so there were like 40 people trying to buy 
cameras and then 10 of us were at the DJI stand so I forgot to buy an SD card so maybe I need to go out to the Best Buy later so I can get my 10% cash back for that purchase as well. Um, just because I didn't even hold this. They were like super duper protective of it. They wouldn't even let me look at it to make sure I got the right thing. And then on top of it there was me and this Korean couple and they thought we were all together and they kept trying to charge us all together and I kept we kept all saying like we don't know each other <laughs> like stop trying to give us each other's things and then they bought their thing and then they handed me the drone and I was like I still don't know them and that's not my thing anyway so uh, racism is alive and well here so I did go with the creator combo so I think it's a pretty good deal and this is what is included in the creator combo um, so that was about a hundred dollars more so I paid $4.99 plus tax for it so then I went to the Strand. So the Strand is kind of like a legend here in New York. It is a used bookstore, but it has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of titles. Um, so basically anything you would want you can find. So I ended up picking up just one book. I looked at so many. I'm sure you saw in my vlog. I looked at so many different sections. I kind of looked at everything except for that the rare book room, which is where I really wanted to show you, is actually closed right now because of COVID. So I couldn't show you in there, but you can shop it online. Um, so I'll try to remember to link below. But I bought a business companion Japanese book. Um, I had this problem where I pick up a bunch of language books with the intention of learning how to speak the languages but I just never do. Um, so I have like multiple books about learning Spanish, I have multiple books about learning French, and then I have multiple books about learning Japanese, Swedish, Danish, and Norwegian. Um, so one of these days I'll get around to it but I figured I should pick this up because um, when I was interviewing at my new job they did mention that there are quite a few Japanese projects and I don't speak any Japanese even though I have lived there um, so I thought this was a good option. It was also um, pretty inexpensive so I paid only $6.50 for it and it is um, list price is $12.95 so I thought this was a good option. And then after I finished at the Strand, I wanted to show you Fish's Eddy. Um, so that's another great landmark here in New York City. Um, so I think as part of my vlog series, I want to show you all of my favorite places to do gift shopping in New York because a lot of really, really unique places do exist. Fish's Eddy is amazing. Um, so every time I go in there, I want to redesign all of my dishes in my apartment and things like that. Um, the dishware there is really, really high quality and really heavy duty. So Sort of equipment and then also a lot of the glassware is very very quirky and cute and um, they also have tons and tons of cute um, textiles um, I totally recommend going there if you ever are in the city and you're looking for some unique quirky gifts they have tons of things that are very um, unique dinner tonight I am making the portini mushroom and truffle ravioli chili onion crunch heavy activia and then I'm also using these real bacon bits for some flavor Dinner for today is super simple just because I need to run to go before the Best Buy closes. Um, so this is just the Trader Joe's ravioli with the chili lime, no, chili oil, <laughs> chili onion crunch, that's what it is, and some bacon bits. And this is just going to be dinner for today. Um, when I was baking it, it kind of looked like wontons, so I realized that I was kind of craving wontons. So hopefully it, it tastes similar. Okay, they do have the special. But do you think they have a 
so I am back and it's obviously sometime later so I went to Best Buy and I picked up the Extreme Plus Micro SD 128 gigabyte and this one is going to be working for my um, DJI Pocket 2. Um, the DJI Pocket 2 only supports up to 256 gigabytes um, but actually the 128 card was very much on sale this week so I think it was around 34 five dollars um, before taxes and then if you wanted the 256 gigabyte card it was going to be $99.99 um, so I figured to just try it out I'm going to get the 128 plus it's like I have had issues with um, cards going corrupt in the past so I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket basically but this was a much better value and I could have bought two maybe I should have but I spent a lot of money today so I only bought one card um, but these are the specs and they had quite a few options at Best Buy, um, but this will be my goal for tomorrow is setting up this device and trying to figure out how it works. So this is obviously the end of the night, so obviously my plans did not go according to what I had set out in the morning. I did not go to the museum, obviously, um, but actually I had a really great day. I did a lot of errands, and then I actually met up with a friend, kind of spur of the moment, when I was going to Best Buy in the evening to pick up the SD card. Um, I texted my friend to see if she wanted to go out for desserts. Um, so I'm actually not a dessert person, and I gave the option of dessert or bubble tea, um, but my friend is a very much a dessert person, so... Um, we both decided to go to the Smith, um, which is a restaurant, and I think they, it's actually a chain because I think I've been to the one in DC as well. Um, if you are visiting or you have a house here, um, they also have a really great delivery service these days. It started during 2020, um, where they will actually bring the restaurant grade ingredients and deliver it to your house. So if you want some really high quality meats and seafood, that may be a good option for you. They also have um, some like uh, prepared foods that you can just pop in the oven. Um, so that's a great option too. Um, so I actually spent a ton of money today, um, but that is kind of the point of my low buy, no buy, is to always have um, money where I'm not kind of stressed out about it if I wanted to make a big purchase. So um, as I may have mentioned, I was kind of planning on buying a camera for the past couple of years now, um, probably since like 2018 or so, just because um, my Sony has always been a little bit it was never like um, in season. It was kind of the older model when I did get it as a gift. And then um, since then there have been many, many new iterations of that Sony camera. And I do like the Sony cameras, but I was kind of and still kind of am a Canon person. Um, so I was kind of trying to figure out if I wanted to go back to the Canon line. Um, but since I'm really enjoying doing this as part of my creative outlet, I'm not really that much of a creative person, but this has been kind of fun to document my life. Um, so I did decide to get the DJI Pocket 2, um, just because this is something that I've been looking at, because I was also looking at the action camera, what's it called, the GoPro. I kind of wanted to buy a GoPro maybe... I think it was like in 2019 um, because I was going to take it on vacation with me but I never made the purchase. But I do think that this is a better camera from what I've been researching than the GoPro is so I will definitely let you know how I think about it. Um, so this is the task for tomorrow morning and then I'm also for sure I'm going to follow through with my plans. Um, maybe not my lunch plan because I was just a like solo lunch um, but my plan tomorrow is to meet up with one of my friends in Queens to go to the mall. Um, just because she's never been to Daiso before and I want to take somebody to Daiso for the first time. Um, so anyway, let me just get started here on my skincare. I'm kind of amped up on sugar. I'm not really a dessert person, so that sugar was like over the limit for me. Um, so let me just get started here. So I'm going to use the typical skincare, so You Beauty, followed by Innisfree. And then I've been noticing that today my um, under eye like lines are kind of strong, so I think it's because I did not like the combination in the past couple of days. So I'm going to go back to the typical one with the Beekman and then the peptide cream. Um, so that's the plan for tonight and I will check back in with you tomorrow um, but I think this is going to be the end of today's vlog because I did do a lot of stuff today. Um, so this is probably the most active I've been in the city since maybe, maybe honestly like November 2019. 
or maybe actually December 2019 when my friend came from Norway we had this like kind of crazy two-day plan and we did it all so that's probably the most recent time I did stuff out in the city just because I was working on some projects myself for the first two months of 2020 um, so I'm a little bit pooped now but I'm amped up on sugar so I'm planning on reading a little bit to kind of um, close off my brain Actually, let me tell you what I'm reading these days. Um, so it's not really reading as much as um, listening to the audiobook, but let me pull it up on my app. So I'm currently listening to The Making of Asian America by Erica Lee, and this is actually a really, really, really well-written and well-researched book. It's really in detail about all of the different Asian kind of populations and how they came to America and how they were discriminated against etc. So I did take Asian American history in college and this book is like really going f more in depth about each of the different populations. In terms of where I am in the historical period, I haven't yet heard about the Vietnamese and the Hmong history, so I'm kind of excited to hear about those because I find those two populations, since they are pretty recent, to be very interesting. Right now I think I'm in the Korean War, so that's where, how far I am in the book. I think I was at like 69%, I think that's what I saw. Um, yeah, I'm at 69% listened to, so that is how far it is before you get to the Korean War, if that's going to help you at all figure out about um, how much of the book is about each different period um, but yeah that is going to be everything for today um, I hope it was interesting so I did want to show you a lot of the hidden gems that I really enjoy in New York I don't know if they're really that hidden but um, I'm going to try to hit different neighborhoods to just show you some of the places I really like shopping um, for gifts and stuff like that because I think that's kind of useful um, because like everyone can go to home goods everyone can go to Barnes and Noble but it's like there are certain gems that you can find within each city so I'm going to try to show you that throughout the week well maybe not tomorrow but yeah I'll kind of check in with you tomorrow thank you again for watching and I'll see you again soon bye